also. So if you could change one major historical event outside of your own life, what would it be and why? And so a lot of people might see just this part and they'd be like, oh my God, that's terrible. But check it out. Just bear with me. Think about this. So I wrote, I would change. First thing was the Holocaust. That's the first thing that came to mind. And then uh, Vietnam, slavery, 9-11, right? These things make me extremely mad and extremely sad. But without these things, America wouldn't and couldn't be America, right? And without this car accident, liberty wouldn't be liberty. So I wouldn't change a thing. I have no regrets. Regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. No, I don't. I don't have any regrets in my life, right? I just don't. And I don't want anybody else to have regrets. Because think about it. With all the injustice, I would, or I'm sorry, without all the injustice, how would I know what justice is? I wouldn't. I had to have all the injustice in my life and I had to experience it and I had to witness it watching other people experience injustice for me to actually understand what justice is and be grateful for it. And with all, without all the enslavement that I've experienced, I wouldn't know what freedom is. Without all the pain, then how would I know pleasure? I wouldn't. Okay. Without all the rain, I wouldn't have the rainbows. <laughs> And, you know, I think it's funny how people always say, you go, girl, or I'm so proud of you, or thank you so much for your inspiration, or wow, you've been through a lot. You still have a great attitude, but you have a bad attitude. You have a negative attitude. You're ungrateful. You sit there and you do nothing. It's like you just sit there and do nothing. You claim to be in all this pain. You claim that you have no money, but you have plenty of time to sit around and watch YouTube and other TV and movie channels all day and feel sorry for yourself and blame other people for all your problems. You have not had enough pain. Okay. Respectfully, I say, and lovingly, I say this to you, that you have not had enough pain because I'm, I'm telling you this because I care, okay? Because if once your pain is bad enough, then you'll step up, okay? Because I don't want anybody to have to go through what I have gone through. And I started my business so that you can learn from my life, okay? You have not had enough pain. The more pain that I go through, the more chains drop from and the more fear drops from me, the more free I become because I know that I can die at any time. I don't have the luxury of lying, hesitating, doubting myself or wasting my time in any way. This is God's time. Okay. There are people killing themselves out there. There are people being abused. There are people that are addicted to drugs, suffering all day, every day in many ways. And those people need someone to step up. And that someone is me. My name is Liberty V Justice. And there's no period in my V because my victories never end. And I'm here to help you get your victories. Legend, you're worth it. I would do anything for you. I would die for you. Okay. Just like 9-11, I will never forget. And by the way, I'm a veteran of the United States Army. And I'm still a servant. Okay, 9-11 was very, very difficult for me a couple of days ago, but it always is because I always wanted to be a servant. And I kind of just thought that being in the army was my way of serving. So 9-11, when that happened, I, I'll link to you another episode where I talked about that. But 9-11, uh, it made me step up, put it that way. And it was very hard for me not being in the army and not being able to serve my country on that day. It was, it was just 9-11 was very hard. But I realized that my purpose that, you know, I thought, you know what, I could have died that day and, and during not, not the day, not 9-11 that day, but during that time I could have died serving my country, but instead I'm here to serve you. And I have two kids that inspired me to step up 
And on that day, I vowed to myself I was going to quit drugs. And uh, and I did. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so because of these two kids, Zane and Riley, you made me step up. And I love you guys so much. You're probably never going to see this, but I love you. And also, there was a few years ago before I, I came to California where I was going to kill myself. And I didn't because I wanted these kids to see the example that you can do anything you want to do. You could be a billionaire. You can make it with your music, with your art, with your dancing, whatever you want to do, you can do it. Okay. I would die for you in any case. And by the way, we give 10% of all of our profits to Operation Underground Railroad. And we made this shirt. I created this shirt, social, social distancing champion. And you can buy this shirt in our, and it's in the description right now, you can buy it in our store and 10% of all of our profits go to Underground Railroad. Okay. So, you know, just like 9-11, like I said, I never forget. I never lose my need for other humans. Let me check this real quick. I want to check the audience. Okay. Underground Railroad and okay. We made this shirt okay. So, um, I never lose my need for other humans. I never become arrogant or think that I'm better than other people or think that I don't need other people. I'm a servant. And the Bible says, whoever exalts himself will be humbled. Okay. Here's the thing. When you see the greatness in your current crazy circumstances, when you see the greatness in all the struggles and what it could do for you and other people while you're going through it, that's one of the greatest gifts you could ever have. So I want to encourage you, whatever you're going through today, see the greatness that is coming from it right now. Don't be like, oh, one day, you know, I'm going to, it's going to be good. No, just be grateful for everything that you have right now. Maybe you're in a wheelchair like I was. Maybe you're in the hospital right now. Maybe you're not making episodes though like I was while I was in the hospital, but maybe you're in the hospital and you're watching me right now. You're like, wow, that's amazing. And just, just think about, oh, you're in the hospital? Okay, well, can you walk? Be grateful for that. Can you talk? Be grateful for that. Can you ask for help? Be grateful for that. Do you have people around you that are good taking care of you? Be grateful for that. Do you have family that you can call? Do you have family that really, really cares about you? Be grateful for that. Be grateful. Do you have hair? I was without hair. I was in a wheelchair. I had cancer. I had no hair. I, I'm grateful for my hair. Are you, you know, just be grateful. I encourage you write down the things that you're grateful for right now, no matter what you're going through, just be grateful and pray. And if you don't believe in pray and thank God, if you don't, I would encourage you to start to believe in God right now. Right. Cause that's been the greatest anchor in my life is believing in God, trusting in God and trusting in Jesus Christ. Cause I know he has a purpose for my life. And my mission is to help you to believe that you're worth it and step up. And eventually to become financially free. You are worth it. And you can't be financially free because the more you have, the more money you have, the more people that you can help. Okay. So I'm here for you. All right. Just, just understand that, you know, gratitude is very, very important. You know, I never forget. I never forget today on September 13th. It's been a year and I'm so grateful that I'm alive. And like I said, it, it took be, it took being covered in dirt to uncover the real me that laid inside that walking coffin all those years and to give me the desperation and the strength and the courage to climb to my victories. And it, it, it took, it took all of you people that encouraged me that watch my YouTube channel. It took all of you like communicating to me your pain and what you're going through in order for me to step up even further and like, you know, keep going because I know that there's people out there that are suffering that need me to encourage you because, and again, I'm saying this lovingly and respectfully. I say this out of love because I know that what you're, a lot of people, what you're going through is in some ways it's worse than what I'm going through right now. Uh, but a lot of you are going through, through things that you don't need to be going through mentally and emotionally, and it's, you're making it worse than what it really is. And of all the things that I'm going through, I'm still going because you need to understand that you're being ungrateful You need to, you need to be grateful and you need to step up and you can do better. Okay. You can do better. You are worth it. Okay. So thank you for giving me the motivation just by watching my YouTube channel and by commenting 
and talking to me and communicating to me your pain too. Okay, you're worth it. And there's no pain, the small pain. There's nothing that you're going through that God can't help you heal from. And and there's nothing that you're going through right now that God does not care about. God cares about all your pain and God will not waste any of your pain. And you know what? You don't waste your pain. Use your pain to help others overcome. That's what we're here for. Okay. So you can watch the whole playlist that I filmed in the hospital. It's already in the description in the live chat. Uh, and I'm going to put it in, and it's also in the description of this live stream. And uh, I'm sorry, it's in the playlist in the live chat. The playlist is in the live chat and it's in the description and it's called entertain through pain serving you helps me through my suffering. Okay. So that's why I'm here for, I love doing this. It helps me get through my pain because I love you. I know I'm here that I can help you overcome your pain. Okay. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And once again, you can buy this shirt and support charity at the same time. And you can get our e-cookbook, which is normally $20, but it's $10. It's called Sweet Liberty. It's full of snacks, diabetic friendly. There's no sugar in it. It's got coconut sugar in some of it. Some has maple sugar, but there's peanut butter. It's all peanut butter and chocolate. There's no refined sugars. It's diabetic friendly, low carb. Check out the book and this shirt. And it's 100% cotton and it's... um. Uh, champion brand. Okay. And it, I bought mine too big because I thought it would be too small if I bought a smaller size, but it fits the size. So anyway, check it out. And we give 10% of all of our profits to charity operation underground railroad. So you'd be supporting charity also. Okay. Operation underground railroad helps kids escape from sex trafficking. Anyway, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much for watching on this momentous day for me. It's a historical day for me. One year since Jesus Christ saved my life from that, that truck hitting me so that I could be here to serve you. Mama, I love you. And Kathy, I love you. I love you. Whoever you are, I know you don't believe me right now. You're going to believe me. Jesus loves you. And I love you. If nobody else tells you today, you are worth it. You are worth it. And I love you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Liberty V Justice, and there's no period in my V because my victories never end. And I'm here to help you get your victories, legend. You are worth it. Thank you.